Welcome to the mother city of South Africa. Welcome to the Western Cape. Welcome to a land of opportunities. The Western Cape has two main climatic regions, Mediterranean on the coast and semi-desert inland. They are scattered with unique microclimates, which, along with rich soil and topographical conditions, partly explain such a varied and prolific agricultural sector. Let's embark together on a fruitful journey around its most interesting industry. The inland valleys and the coastal regions are fertile producers of deciduous fruit, such as apples, grapes, peaches, nectarines, apricots, pears, and cherries. Today, the Western Cape accounts to up to 60% of total fruit exports in South Africa, the second largest exporter in the world. Our counter-seasonality to Europe, our primary export market, is a major competitive advantage. A bright future is also predicted for growers of the alternative pomegranates and, in the soft fruit field, international demand for berries far outstrips supply. The first wine estate, Groot Constantia, was founded almost 350 years ago. And today, South Africa is the sixth largest wine producer in the world. The Western Cape's favorable climatic and soil conditions make it home to most of the wineries, accounting for around 90% of the country's production. Our famous signature red grape variety originated in Stellenbosch, where the best Pinotage wine is still produced today. Wine tourism is also on the increase, as almost half of the tourists to the country visit the winelands. Over 90% of South Africa's olive oil production is situated in the Western Cape. Although the industry doubles in size every five years, research shows that local producers only meet a quarter of the domestic demand for olive oil. Of South Africa's nine provinces, the Western Cape is the bread basket, representing half of the country's wheat field. Widespread canola fields also offer great opportunities for expansion. The Sandfeld region on the West Coast is known as South Africa's potato pantry. Gem squash, butternut and sweet potato are also highly consumed locally. Cereals and hardy varieties of vegetables are massively exported to the neighboring Southern African Development Community, SADC, and exports are increasing to the rest of the continent. The Karoo region and the Overberg produce wool and mutton, as well as merino sheep pedigree breeding stock. The certified Karoo meat of origin mark guarantees the flavor and quality of Karoo meat, thanks to a strict protocol of feeding programs and free-range rearing practices. The Western Cape is the only province exporting meat, fine leatherware, and feathers from the indigenous ostrich. Other indigenous species such as blessbok, black wildebeest, or kudu are also farmed locally for livestock and for safari tourism. The low cholesterol and calorie levels of game meat combined with high protein content have made it a highly desirable alternative to other red meats in the modern health conscious age. More classical animal products presenting growth in the area include broiler chickens, eggs, dairy products, beef and pork. Additionally, thanks to the access to the warm Mozambique current along the south coast and the cold Benguela current to the west, 40% of South Africa's aquaculture producers are situated here. But supply still does not satisfy the national demand for species such as trout, finfish, mussels, oysters, or lobster. As for exports, abalone mollusks have the largest share in the Western Cape as the meat is considered a delicacy in most parts of the world. To feed a larger, more urban and richer world population, international indicators show that food production of cereal and meat particularly should increase by an exorbitant 70% by 2050. In order for this to happen, technology has become an integral part of agriculture. Cutting-edge technology in the Western Cape helps build diversified value chains, both for mature and for upcoming industries. Significant food processing activity exists in areas such as cereal and grain milling, juicing, canning, pulping or drying of fruits, poultry and meat products, fish and seafood, dairy, and many more. Our industries compete even better at a global level thanks to a successful nexus between universities, government, and private institutions, which together provide for efficient research programs. Research combined with technology continually helps to improve soil, 
waste, energy and water management and to promote environment-friendly pest and disease management. Throughout all production and transformation processes, social responsibility and reduced environmental impact are key factors to contribute positively to the three-dimensional people, planet and profit. The world is divided into six floral kingdoms. South Africa's Cape Floral Kingdom is the densest, almost wholly contained within one single province. It has about 9,000 plant species, 68% of which are not found anywhere else in the world. Its main biome, called Feinbos, represents a major component of South Africa's wildflower exports. The recently emerged essential oils industry is already exporting eucalyptus, citrus and indigenous buchu and geranium oils to major economies for use in healthcare, cosmetics and food products. With the trend of global health consciousness, the popularity of caffeine-free herbal teas is also on the increase. Furthermore, rooibos, buchu and honeybush have a high level of antioxidants which suggest that they can fight diseases and treat digestive disorders and allergies. The expansion of commercial farming has recently shown that these species can adapt out of their natural habitats. Building on demand, these herbs definitely offer great opportunities for the development and release of new blends of products. All the industries that we have introduced offer strong and extended value chains contained within the Western Cape. Your company could become a new link in any of these chains, whether you prefer to establish a greenfield investment or enter a joint venture. Positive indicators to be considered include a world standard tertiary education, a young trainable workforce, a solid infrastructure with good governance and sound and globally competitive financial institutions. Furthermore, South Africa is ranked within the top three in the world both for protection of investor intellectual property and for corporate access to credit. The area offers competitive advantages in terms of proximity to a large urban consumer market, well aware of international trends, high tourism revenues, links with large retailer distribution systems and international trade fairs. And lastly, the region has excellent logistics and communications with a world-class port, numerous rail and road links, as well as regular air freight connections to major cities in Southern Africa and abroad. Investing in the Western Cape will give you a foot in the door to Africa.